Hey there, and welcome back to another exciting video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic stamp in Foxit PDF Editor without needing to write a single line of code. If you've used Adobe Acrobat before, you might know how complicated and time consuming it can be to create and add stamps. But here's the good news. Foxit PDF Editor has an amazing built-in feature that makes creating dynamic stamps quick and easy. So if you're looking to create a dynamic PDF stamp and aren't familiar with JavaScript or coding, this video is perfect for you. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right in. All right, so here we are with the new look of Foxit PDF Editor. The first step is to open the document you want to stamp, or you can open any PDF for practice. Once you have it open, go to the top toolbar, click on comment, and then go to custom stamps. Click on create custom dynamic stamp. This is the magic feature I was talking about earlier. Foxit is one of the only PDF editors that lets you create dynamic stamps this easily. Once you click on it, a new window will pop up. This is where you can start designing your stamp. You can choose from different shapes, fonts, and text options to customize your stamp exactly how you want. Now, let's go ahead and create a basic stamp. I'm going to select this shape, give it a category name, and for the text, I'll choose a static text field to add my message. You can also adjust the font, color, and size to fit your needs. Next, let's add a date field that automatically pulls the current date and time from your computer. Just select the date option, resize it as needed, and you're good to go. Foxit also has options to add other dynamic fields like author names or usernames, so you have plenty of flexibility. Once you're happy with your design, click OK. Now, you can go to the stamp list and there's your brand new custom stamp. Once you apply it to your document, it will automatically detect and display the current date and time. Pretty cool, right? Now, let's take it up a notch and create a dynamic stamp that allows the user to input custom data directly into the stamp fields. Go back to the stamp editor window, select your shape again, and add a category name. This time, I'll choose the option that allows custom values to be added when the stamp is applied. Once you click on it, a dialog window will pop up where you can create text fields for user input. In the field name section, enter the label for the text field that will appear in the dialog box. You can also add some placeholder text to give the user a hint of what to enter. I'm going to create two dynamic fields for this stamp. After setting that up, click OK and let's test it out. When you apply this stamp, a dialog box will appear where you can enter custom data. Fill it in, click OK, and boom, there's your custom stamp with user input. I've also created another example stamp where you'll notice the date field is automatically populated with the current system date. And that's it. You've just created your very own dynamic stamp in Foxit PDF Editor. Quick, easy, and best of all, no coding required. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more great content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.